Vibes Cartel says, No, I am not okay. What does it mean? 876 Report, we keep you in the know. Vibes Cartel releases yet another new song in May 2020. This new release is titled Not Okay. It's considered to be a sad song done over rock and roll beat. Let's take a listen. No, I'm not okay. No, I'm not okay. No, I'm not okay. Some of his lyrics, do you think of me sometime or are you wondering if I'm okay? No, I'm not okay. Is this just a dream? Don't destroy my life, please. This song to me gives an impression of someone crying out for help. What do you think? Is Vibes Cartel talking about his current situation in prison? No, I'm not okay. Lost in space and time sometimes. Since being jailed, Vibes Cartel was taken to hospital several times over reported medical condition. Cartel is singing as if a woman is walking out of his life or he's in deep depression. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below and let us know what you think of this new song. Other news, you know everyone has been giving their own views about George Floyd's death. It's been number one on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Artists such as Queen Africa, Bounty Killer, Bean the Man, Tiny Stevens, Bojo, Coffee, and even Spice have something to say. They have denounced the killing of Floyd and racism in the USA. Let's hear what Spice have to say. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to openly voice my opinion on everything that is happening right now with Black Lives Matters, the protests, George Floyd, and this whole situation. Um, to be honest, even though my heart is inexplicable at the moment I am going to try my best to express myself in, in the best way that I possibly can a lot of people have been seen as openly voice their opinion which I do respect but I just want to say that oftentimes when things happen I hate to see black people attacking each other and that's what I'm seeing people saying oh why them after a protest like that oh this looks ghetto this makes us look bad did I read that or am I seeing those comments? No, seriously. Am I seeing those comments? Because at the end of the day, you stay home doing nothing and people are out there fighting for our rights or freedom, for justice, voicing their opinion. That's their way of expressing themselves. Yes, we get that. It's not right to loot. It's not right to vandalize properly and burn whatever. It's a protest. It's a riot. So all these years... When the police have been killing these innocent black people, let's, let's not forget Sandra Bland. It's not only black men, black people, and people have been in the streets protesting. No justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. Only never hear. Y'all didn't hear those words? That's what it meant. No justice, no peace. That's why there's a riot right now. That's why people are protesting. That's why people are angry. We are tired. We are fed up. You, they keep killing these people one behind each other. Just the other day, they killed Aubrey. We protest. Then we stop. Now they kill George Floyd. People tired. They're fed up. So if this is their way, like I said, I'm not saying it is right, but if this is their way of expressing that we're tired, we're fed up, we're angry, well, ancestors have already fought for us, they've already been through it. Where are the people, the white people, who says they love us, you know? A lot of black people is like, oh, how come I don't see Oprah? How come I don't see... They're calling out all the black people and we're picking at each other. How come I supposed to say Justin Timberlake and Justin Bieber, Tom Cruise, when I pay my money go theater, go watch. How come I don't see all these white people who is at, at status, the celebrity white people? Kim Kardashian walking in the streets of LA with Kanye West. That's what I want to see. Popular celebrities coming together. All the Kim Kardashian who have black husband and black men and black kids. That's where me want to know. 
Where are they? I want to know where's Taylor Swift. I want to know where's Leonardo DiCaprio. All these white people. Tom Cruise, me call him name already, yeah. Ben Affleck. I want to see the white people who are not racist because the truth is at this point is not black versus white no more. It is all of us against white supremacy. It is all of us against racism. Because the truth is I do see a lot of white people out there in the streets protesting. So everybody, period, is fed up. Everybody fed up. They're tired. You keep killing these black people innocently. Repeatedly. One behind the other. Sandra Bland. All of them. Aubrey. Just die. Let's not forget um, Trayvon Martin. And we all protest and we stop. They kill um, Martin. We protest. We stop. They kill Aubrey. We protest. We stop. Now them kill George Floyd in front of our eye. We watched his breath leaving his body that man cried for his mother and you are in your house talking about the people mashing up buildings people i'm not saying it's right what I'm saying, my point is, because a lot of you like to take things out of context and run with it. Oh, Spice telling people to, to, to mash up. I'm not saying it's right, but what I'm saying, all of this can come back. George Floyd will never come back. The man is dead. The man was killed innocently. That's my point. So allow the people to protest. Allow the people to, ex it's a form of expression. Let them express themselves. Everything that's happening right now, it is going to go back to normal. Buildings can come back and everything. I've said it. I totally agree with Spice. While racially motivated killings like George Floyd has been happening for years, his name will perhaps echo in our minds for generations to come. His cry for help while struggling to breathe as a police officer knelt on his neck for almost 10 minutes left many of us shocked and angry. This may help explain why the widespread of violent protests across the United States for the past several days. Other reggae stars such as Coffee also reacted to George Floyd's death. 20-year-old reggae sensation rails the troops to unite and fight against oppression and injustice affecting black people all over the world for decades. She wrote, As we witness the constant injustice towards our brothers and sisters, we must stand together. I may be young, but I can fully feel the weight of the decades of oppression and abuse towards not only black Americans, but black people all over the world. Let George Floyd's life be not in vain. We must fight for freedom and fight against injustice. We are all in this together. None of us are free until all of this are free. Hashtag George Floyd. Thank you for listening 876 Reports. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for further news.